So welcome back to my kitchen guys. Today what we're going to do is we're going to do a slightly more robust meal today because yesterday we had that stuffed roasted red pepper. So today we're going to actually have a slightly more filling meal. Um, we're going to have chicken wrapped in bacon and we're going to do that with some steamed veg and we're going to serve that with a nice creamy dill sauce. So it sounds like an awful lot but don't worry it's really really simple to do and I'm here to show you how to do that. So I'm going to bring you over to the kitchen and we'll get started. So we've got three main parts towards this dish. The first part is obviously the chicken and bacon. Then we've got our steamed vegetables and then the dill, so the dill sauce. So I'm just going to get the, the vegetables into the steamer. So when you're stacking your steamer, always put vegetables that take the longest on the bottom. So I'm going to put my... Brussels sprouts, which have been crossed to allow the steam to get into them, and my brock and my cauliflower in the bottom one. Then on the next layer up, we are going to put in my broccoli, and then on the final layer, we're going to put some nice thinly sliced carrots. So we're just going to put them in like so. Pop the lid on the steamer. And then, with your pan of boiling water, obviously it's going to be on the stove, but with a bamboo steamer like this, you just have it so it sits over the top, and as you heat the water, the steam will rise up and it cooks all of those vegetables without losing any of the flavour or any of the nutrients and going into the water. It just stays in those vegetables. They're very cheap if you get to, if you find your local. Uh, Oriental supermarket, you can pick these up. I think I paid about five pounds for this one, and that's a stack of three. So they're really, really easy to come across. They're very cheap to find, and they're just so much easier to use, and they're better for you because you keep all the nutrients of those vegetables in. That being said, we're going to put this onto the, the cooker on a low heat just to keep it, the water steaming without running out. That's always got to be your first thing you do when you're doing this because steaming the veg will take a longer time to do. The next part of this um, meal is going to be the chicken wrapped in bacon. So I've taken the standard British bacon or uh, Danish bacon, Canadian bacon, depending on what part of the world you're from. They call it different things. And as you can see, what I've done is I've just cut them into strips. Just so it's easier to wrap the chicken. And that's three rashers for two breasts. So we're going to start by putting our first streak of bacon on the the surface. We take our chicken breast and we're just simply going to wrap it round and then just keep going to cover that bacon, uh, to cover the chicken in bacon. doesn't matter too much about the fat on the bacon at this point because a lot of that fat will cook off when it's being when it's in the oven but that's one we're going to pop that straight onto our pre-greased pre-covered tray ready to go in the oven we're going to do exactly the same with the second piece of chicken If you find that you've not sliced enough bacon, don't panic. Just go and get another piece of bacon out of the fridge and slice it up. It doesn't need to be perfect. As long as you get those bacon flavours into that chicken, that's all that matters. As you can see, this isn't... This isn't a perfectly wrapped piece of chicken, but I just want to get all that bacon that I have onto this chicken, 
cover it nicely just about managed to cover that but again we'll pop that straight on the oven tray so that chicken's going to go in as I say at gas mark 6 I'm going to put it in the middle of the oven and I'm going to set the timer for 15 minutes at which point we're going to check our chicken and see how it's doing. The final stage of this meal is obviously that creamy dill sauce. So we're going to put in some red onion into the pan. We're going to leave it large like this. We're going to leave it as rings and if you can keep it all together even better. We want the flavour of the onion in the sauce but we're not going to actually leave that onion there in the sauce when we serve it. So you're going to put that in the pan with about a teaspoon or so of your margarine or spread or low fat spread whichever you're using and we're going to put that on a low heat just to soften that onion down and melt that butter so for the next stage I'm going to bring you over to the oven uh, over to the cooker hob and we're going to see what we're doing with that sauce so we're just melting that butter down in the pan with that onion just to release those flavours and get that butter nice and melted to start our sauce with. So that's nice and melted. Into, we're going to take that away from the heat and we're going to add about a teaspoon of plain flour and as we add that we are going to beat that butter around. We don't want any lumps in there at all. So we're going to put that in and we're just going to sit there and get rid of, make sure there's no lumps and it's not going to go nasty and thick and horrible. If you do find that it's lumping up like that and what you can do is you can just add a touch of water at this stage keeping it off the heat obviously whilst we're doing it add a touch of water and get back in there with your whisk and blend that round until it's nice and smooth and the lumps have all disappeared when you have lumps in your sauce keep it off the heat to save it if you start cooking it whilst it's still lumpy then those lumps are going to remain and they're going to ruin your sauce that's an onion so whilst that's off the heat we are going to add in our skimmed milk as you can see it's about a cup full of skimmed milk we're just going to throw that into the pan and again straight in there with the whisk and blend that round we don't want any lumps we want a nice even flavour through this sauce there you go no lumps at all which is what we want just gonna boop. return that to the heat and then we're gonna add our herbs it's not a dill sauce without our dill and um, as you all know me by now, I'm going to throw some parsley in as well because I love the taste of parsley. And straight away we're going to get that blended and mixed in. So you just leave that on the heat and keep stirring it and that will, if you bring that up to a higher temperature now, you can start to simmer that. And as it simmers it will start to thicken because we've got that flour in there as well. So I'm going to bring you back when that's ready. So you can see that's reduced quite nicely now. Got a nice thick sauce which is what we want. So we're going to take that off the heat and put that to the side. 
That hasn't taken that long. Maybe six or seven minutes to go down to that. Uh, we're going to check our steamed veg now. Be careful with the steamers because even the bamboo gets extremely hot. So I'm just going to use the tea towel. We're just going to check layer by layer. That's looking good. That broccoli is looking good as well. And then the final layer is the big test because Brussels sprouts take quite a while to cook. So we'll just sit up to the side. They're a bit hard in the middle still. How's that cauliflower? Cauliflower could do with a little bit longer as well. So I'm just going to put my lid onto that. And we're going to sit the carrots and the broccoli to the side. We are going to cover that. I'm just going to pop a tea towel over the top of that whilst I put that to the side. Just to keep that heat in whilst we're waiting for everything to catch up. It shan't take too long and we're not far off and the timer's just gone off so we're just going to check that chicken now. I'll have a quick look and if it's ready I'll take you back over to the other side of the kitchen. So that's the chicken ready, that's nice fresh out of the oven. What we're going to do is we're just going to take that and pop that straight on our plate. Then onto our plate we are going to take some of that beautiful steamed veg. And not forgetting the sprouts and the collie because that's them nice and ready as well now so we're just going to pop one two sprouts on there nice piece of cauliflower in the middle and then all that we've got left to do is just to spoon some of that beautiful creamy dill sauce over our chicken like so a little bit more there we go and there you have it guys a very very simple dish looks fancy didn't take too long and you've got a very wholesome meal there. You've got your protein with your meats. You've got all your vitamins and minerals that you need with all your vegetables. And you've got a little bit of calcium that we had from that milk that we used in our creamy dill sauce. It's fairly low in fat because we use low fat alternatives. And I hope you guys enjoy this meal. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy my dinner tonight. I hope you guys enjoy yours as well. If you like the videos, then please 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 hit that like button it lets me know that I'm doing okay and it lets me know that you want to see more of these videos as time goes on so without further ado I'm gonna go and eat my dinner I hope you enjoy yours and I'll see you next time